Hey YouTube, this is really badass, and today, well, I'm basically gonna be testing out, or er, well, testing out. What, what the hell am I saying? I'm gonna be um unboxing something. It is a keyboard and mouse, and I think the light made it a little bit better. And here we go. Let's just jump right into it. So this is the Red Dragon, and there's some Chinese symbols next. I don't, I don't know. Um, it has, and it comes with a mouse central force. I, I have no clue. And overall, I just, I was looking for a cheap, um, thing to get, and this showed up because it was about 20 bucks for the, 20 to 30 bucks for the combo. So it does come with a mouse, and I was just looking for a mouse to replace mine because it's currently this, a little Logitech wireless mouse, which is good, but it, um, wore out over time, and now it disconnects every 10 seconds or so. So when I'm playing League, it sucks. So right here, we're gonna open it. Um, there was a little piece of thing right here. I just took it off before I started. And let's see. Oh, that's a beauty so far. So, um, protective bubbling, or bubble wrap, of course. This stuff's the most fun to play with, but let's, let's take it out. Ooh, baby, look at that. All right. So let's put this to the side now. And let's take a look at the keyboard. So, um, one thing that this this keyboard is is like sounds sounds nice and crisp. Um, so this is just the Red Dragon keyboard. Um, they have the W A S D keys lit up. Um, and you can switch around the arrow keys and the W A S D keys. That's why these say W A S D. And so, and these ones have the arrow keys on them too, because you can actually interchange them um, by pressing control and like switching it like that, and then it'll um, switch. I, I have no clue how it works, but I'm probably not going to be using that. I might use it in the future, but yeah. Um, it's just a basic keyboard, nothing too good. It sounds really crisp, like the keyboard I have right now. Oh, oh, that's causing sound. Oh, that's not. Oh yeah, it's just. Compared to, it, it sounds a lot crisp. I, I just like crisp sounding keyboards. It's, it's pretty weird. But, and then it comes with a cable on the back and um, the cable itself looks really nice. It's red and black and it has like this, um, I don't know how to say it, but it has a really, um, it almost feels like heavy quality cable. It's not like a regular black cable that comes with like the regular keyboards. It's a, um, Man, what does it feel like? It almost feels like rope or twine type of um, cord. You, if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know. Overall, the cord just feels very sturdy, um, reliable. And I'm just going to put this on the table right here for now. It, it's a decent sized keyboard too. It's not too big. It's on the list. Um, it also comes with this limited warranty thing. I don't know. Yeah, limited warranty and a little thing on instructions and stuff. And here we go with the mouse. It's right over here. I don't know what this is. I don't know if I'll need this. <laughs> Probably won't. But let's just get the mouse out of here. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty much all for that box. And here's the mouse. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, it is nice and big. Thank you, dude. Oh man, it's it's about the. Eh. It's a little bit wider than my Logitech mouse I have. You guys can kind of see how the width is a little bit of a difference. It has the two side keys and the key um, next to or be bleh, behind the scroll wheel, and it is a laser. Um, it does have a laser to determine where its location is, and you can open this. I don't know what happens if I open it. Let's try it. I don't think I need to open it because it's it's not like it's a battery. It's um, all wired and it has gold plating on the USB and so does this one. Um, once again, a high quality type of cable, like um, almost like twine feel. It has a feeling like twine. Holy crap, it's so hot in my room, guys. I don't have my fan on because it'll mess with the sound of the recording and it kind of sucks, but yeah. So like I said, two side buttons, a, you know, right mouse button, left mouse button, scroll wheel, and a middle, um, a scroll mouse button. And you can click the scroll wheel, of course. Um, I do think this is for the DPI settings because it can go up to 2000 DPI, which you know is pretty good. And, um, ooh, that's really smooth. Oh man, that, that feels really good. Like, and it's overall, it's a, 
like my hand is kind of big but um the overall width of it is good because now it's like it like i don't know my hand doesn't track as much on the um on the stuff i'm using it on which is really good i really do like this keyboard it it just feels really crisp as for the keyboard i forget if it has backlighting or not um and one thing that the keyboard has are these little um, clips on the back that you can pop up and it can make the keyboard stand up if you guys see right there you know and just make it a little bit more angled I personally don't care but you know it's a nice addition because I like my keyboards flat so when I'm playing it's just like normal instead of up but your guys's choice and that's something that I, I like this is a little feature I like this also does have the windows key which is really annoying but I think you can actually program it to turn it off so if you do accidentally hit it because like when I'm playing league and I ping I mean I'll be good and I'll press alt but this feels a lot more weird because the alt key is more over and yeah it it's gonna take a little bit getting used to in all aspects um but yeah I think I'll be fine because on my keyboard, um, the spacebar is not this small. That's if it's one complaint I would have about this, it's because it's that this keyboard is not this small. But it's because it has the function key right here, and I don't see any function key on the um other keyboard I have. But I don't know function. Um, function's okay, but I'd rather just have a Alt and then clicking F1 as a function. So that's like really trying to criticize the um keyboard though. So yeah, numlock, cap lock, win lock. I don't, I don't even know what I'm still reviewing this thing for. Let's plug it in. Oh, and let there be light, boys. Um, it does have backlighting. Um, well, it has like five spots it lights up. I bl I remember seeing that. Um, here's one, two, three, four, and then these two spots right here, five. Um, it, it looks sick. I gotta say. Now let's check out the mouse real quick and see what the mouse looks like. Alright, so the mouse- Ooh! Oh, that's cool! Oh, jeez. I don't want to blind myself. Ooh, it feels really smooth, dude. I- I really do. Um, if anything, if there's one complaint, I wish that it just came up a little bit taller. But I think that's because I'm used to this mouse, which does come up a little bit taller than that. Um, you guys might be able to kind of see right there. It like it sticks up a bit and that's what I like about the um the Logitech mouse that I had but overall um it does light up like you guys can see in there it lights up right there it lights up there back here and of course the light and yeah that's pretty freaking sick it just looks sick in general like performance wise I wonder how it'll do but I know there's a way to change DPI settings um, if you click this button, I think it changes it between like 800, 1600, and 2000 DPI. So, um, you guys can kind of adjust with it right there and figure out which one's the best. I personally just like how it comes out. Maybe, um, one more click. I don't know exactly what the DPI is, um, or what it switches to when you press it, but it's too sensitive for the other two. So, um, yeah. The response on it is instant, you know, it just feels instant. There's Winlock. So yeah, um, there is a way to turn off Windows key. Oh, I did it. So I'm pressing the Windows key right now. You guys can see right here, Windows. Um, nothing's popping up. And um, basically you just press Function and Windows key and it puts on Winlock. So, you know, if you accidentally do press it, it's fine. Or if you want to use it as a key in game, that's fine. Yeah, it says it's braided. Um, that's that would be a better way to say it. It's braided wire, like the the protection around the wire. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I also got a um, Red Dragon mouse pad, and uh, yeah, let me just open this up. It's just it, it was cheap, like two bucks, three bucks, and I was like, hey, I just need a cheap mouse pad. And yeah. All right, that's good. And that's what it looks like. Kind of low quality image. It, it just, I don't know, it just looks kind of low quality. But overall, um, it's just a mouse pad. Let's see how it feels. Glides across smoothly. Um, no problems there. 
overall, I gotta say, pretty impressed. Um, looks nice, and um, I'll be able to try it out in a little bit. I'm basically just gonna uh, edit and upload this video with this keyboard um, and this mouse, so I'll see how it works. Hey, kitty. You wanna say hi? Ooh, ah. And, yeah. Look at the little key. Guys, I am not endorsed by Red Dragon, and um, definitely not, and this will not come to bite me in the butt. I'm not a T. Martin. But yeah, guys, so that was basically my review. I mean, I'm sweaty by the end of this. It's so hot. It's so hot here in Hawaii. But yeah, um, if you guys did want to enjoy, um, slap that like button. Like a button. No, I'm just kidding. But um, definitely leave a thumbs up, and you know, like, comment, and subscribe for more. And um, yeah, pretty impressed. And YouTube, we'll see you later. Deuces.